Oh, man. So does anything positive come out of this AOC stuff? Does it maybe wake anyone up? I mean, some people um, sit, you know, pseudo-moralistically on, on climate change being the worst thing that's ever mm-hmm. fucking happened, that's ever going to happen, yet mm-hmm. we see a reversal of many things that we, as humans, did. We see a reversal in the time that people were not traveling in the middle of the pandemic. Like, what, what do we take from this? Do we continue to insert ourselves in positions where we can um, affect change if, if for no other reason than to garner some attention for a certain cause? Is that what we take from this, from AOC's book here? Or, you know, do we chalk it up to, mm, this is how politics goes? This is hypocrisy? I don't really know what to take from it. It's kind of funny to me. I mean, she's now also the cornerstone of a ton of memes. Uh, who wore it better, Chick Fil A bag or AOC? No. Yeah. Uh, and you I know, do think it was an interesting font choice. It looked like blood to me. Yes, it almost I think looked there's like a the message same. There. It almost looked like the same, the same font choice that was used in the Purge promo material, mm-hmm. right? Those four videos, and then also the same font choice that uh, Lil Nas X used for his Satan shoes. Hmm. But I don't know. I mean, let me not let me not say too much. I don't want to bullet through the face. <laughs> nah, man, you know, these days it's, it's too many other people who, who peep this shit. It's not like, you know, this stuff's a secret these days. Subliminal messaging, <laughs> meme, magic, all this stuff is very, very real. Chaos magic. And, um, and I think that that's, that's, that's really what's at play here because regardless, it is now, it's an egregor, right? It's, it's, it's a thought form that can then take on a life of its own because it siphons energy from those who hear about it, who see it, who yeah. are, uh, whose awareness it is placed in front of. And I think that's really always the ultimate goal is, okay, how can these people who help to coordinate these shows and who help manage the schedules of different high-profile people and this, that, and the third, and where there's all those things begin to converge and overlap and intertwine is, is really to serve a purpose of coordinating and steering the collective consciousness focus. Um, because ultimately, sure, it's maybe brought the conversation back to focusing on that, but conversations are cool, but the shit's just words, you know? It's, it's, you know what would be a bigger gesture? Is if all the people who are really on this shit, really on this tip, and this goes for any social, political, community, activist issue, because what we see, and what has been, I think, even more rampant in the last 10 years, because it wasn't really a possibility before, is this uh, virtue signaling is a word for it, but doing these things for the optics of it versus the actual end goal. Back in the day, can you imagine if people had the ability to get hosed down by the police and had dogs put on them? What that would do for their clout on social media if they were activists today? Oh, right now, I mean, they go to the moon. They go from five followers to millions. You know, like it would be such good press for them.